Hello again and welcome back to March Bain's Midlife Dolly Crisis. Today we're going to be unboxing this which is an LOL Surprise Tarte Doll. Um, I actually bought this very recently. They had a few different ones so um, there are a few different sets but this is the one I went for because this is the doll that I wanted. This is Dusk. Now Dusk is related to BB Moonlight who I do have the full size doll of. I also really like her look and stuff like that and I thought it might be fun to get this out for Halloween and, and see what she comes with. She's meant to have like a whole room so there's there's pictures here of things that you get. I think you get a bed and a mirror and various bits and bobs and obviously you get the doll as well. So this is the packaging. It's in a very small box which is quite cute um, and if the box is you know okay it could probably be used to store the stuff in as well. So obviously got this image here, so this is the doll you get, exclusive doll inside, so she's exclusive to this set. You get 10 plus surprises, well we'll see about that. On the side here it has got a lot of different languages which I can't read unfortunately. On the back we've got this again, that's the same on the other side, I think it's just in reverse. And then here, okay so there is English on this side so I can read it, um, it says Unbox 10 plus surprises, furniture, accessories, series 3 doll dusk and fold out play set. So this has got some plastic on, I'm going to get this open and then we'll see what is in the box. So um, basically there was kind of like a film over it um, and it's just got a lid so you can just remove that. I should have mentioned it actually says cosy zone on here. I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit difficult to see maybe in the light. But it says cosy zone because it's kind of like a little sort of a bedroom set. So the top just comes up off like that which is quite nice. And then this thing actually drops down. I didn't realise this. So, oh, yeah I really wasn't quite expecting it. I thought it would be, oh crikey. Oh this is actually really nice. Look the whole thing actually folds out like this. And I, it does kind of mean I'm not sure if... This is the right way to be unboxing this. Okay, this is probably a bit better. It does look, look, just looks like a giant mess, um, which is much like the rest of the room, to be fair. So the box does kind of undo. Um, let's take these bits out. These are obviously all the surprise elements, which we'll put to one side. I will have a quick look at the, the backdrop. Oh, and there, okay, so there is actually instructions on here. There's like numbers and things like this. So this has got a number one. And you're meant to kind of join that to number one here. Okay, so I think... Well, that, that doesn't really work, does it? I... Yeah, I'm not really sure that that does work that well. Does that go over the thing? I No, because then you'd see the thing. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. I've got it wrong, I've got it wrong, hold on. Okay, so there are actual sort of gaps in the floor. So, th th so there's, there's basically like slits that you will insert these bits into. So that is what it kind of makes it. It makes it into this thing. So you might want to... Um, sort of put something flat on this just to kind of try and flatten it out or it's going to feel a bit a bit like the house has got subsidence um because this bit's going to keep coming up but look let's let's just let's just go go ahead with it so this is really cute there's lots of little sort of pictures on the wall and there's kind of furniture that you can see there's if you can see that, no, it'd be good if I showed you, wouldn't it? So look, there's kind of like a, um, a dressing table, there's little shelves, there's pictures, there's, I don't know what that would be, but it's got candles on it, whatever it is. That's kind of, I presume, the window or the doorway. Uh, we've got a chest of drawers, we've got a lamp, obviously covered in like a veil. We've got a mirror on this side, um, we've got a plant, and then we've got we've got a window there. So I guess I don't know what this bit is. Maybe this is another window. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's a window there. There we go. Um, so yeah, this is really cute. 
Um, let's open open these bits now so we can see what we do have. So I'm going to do it kind of randomly. I picked this one up. I can't really imagine what is in this because it's very thin. But look, let's open this here. This is some fabric. So we have this, which I'm guessing is meant to be some sort of pedestal. Oh no, I was gonna say it's like a pedestal mat, but I think it's probably for the bed, because there is a bed. So that is probably like the, the sort of the quilt, sort of faux quilt thing. So let's put that to one side till the bed comes. Let's actually probably get the bed next, which I'm presuming is this giant thing here. All of these are in like a paper package. So that's good, it can be recycled and everything. Oh, something's fallen off. So yeah, I don't know if that just clips in, maybe. There we go. So let's get rid of this bit. I think we're done with that. And we're done with that. That was just protecting it, I think. There's nothing else in there. I do have this bit here. So I think this is probably for... That'd be the head of the bag there. And then we've got this, which is obviously the kind of the bed cover. So that's cute. Uh, let's open this bit now. Ah, so this is the mirror. Here we go. And you can peel that off, which I always tend to leave them on, which is a bit sad. It can ruin it if I take it off, but then you can't see what it is if you leave it on, can you? So this bit kind of just pulls out at the back and you can just put that somewhere. Let's put it here, like that. So that's that bit. Okay, I've got this. This is possibly something for the doll. Yeah, so this is a pair of other glasses or sunglasses, I'm not sure which, but that's for the doll. So we'll put that to one side. Maybe I should try and find out which one the doll is in, because the rest of the stuff is probably for her as well. Actually, let's open this. It feels a bit squidgy. It could be something else for the bed, possibly. Oh, this is cute. Look, it's like a little cushion, a furry little cushion. So it's a bit like, um, it's a, bit like a pom pom, really. But there we go. Let's put that on the bed there. And this is, I think, also the same because it's also squishy. There we go. Look, there's another little cushion there. So that's cute. Okay, this one isn't squishy. I won't try and squish everything because I might end up breaking something. What is this? Oh, so this is kind of like, I don't know what it would be. It's sort of like a figure. Maybe it's like her doll? I hope you can see that. It's like, it's like a kind of a Frankenstein or Lady Frankenstein. What is the woman one called? Is it Mrs. Fra it's not Mrs. Frankenstein. The Bride of Frankenstein. There we go. Maybe it's the Bride of Frankenstein because look, he's got the hair thing going on, but I don't know if that's I don't know what that is. Anyway, that's cute. We'll put that on the bed like that. Okay. What is this? Okay, so this is this is the doll's outfit, which is very kind of Wednesday Adams, really, isn't it? The rest of it is probably for the doll, I'm thinking. So maybe I should just, I, I presume this is the doll because this is the biggest one. After the bed, this was the biggest one. So let's open this and get her out. So here she is. She's doing yoga by the looks of it at this point. Um, 
So um, these little dolls basically have got, they have, they have got some articulation at least, so they're not, not completely bad. They have got um, a neck articulation like this, so their, their head is on a ball. Their arms will move as well. For such small dolls, they actually are quite good. Um, and the legs are also, I mean, I don't know if they can sit. I think they can literally do like this weird splits thing. So yeah, they're not gonna sit down on a chair properly unless that's how you sit, because that's not how I sit, let's be honest. They've also got a hole in the mouth, so you can put a dummy in it. And there's also holes in the eyes. So I think for water play, you can basically fill them with water, fill the head with water. And then if you squeeze the head, then water will come out of the eyes and also out of the mouth. So that is that. Let's just, let's put her on the bed maybe. Let's put, put her there. And let's open the last few bits and then we can get her dressed up. So look, she's got this, which is her drink. So it's in like a kind of a travel cup. There we go. I think, I think she can hold it. Yeah, I mean, it's bigger than she is practically, but But yeah, there we go. It's like Starbucks, you know, go in for a coffee, come out with something in a bucket, isn't it? Um, and what's this? This is the last bit. This is probably shoes, I would imagine. Yes, yeah, so we've got some tiny, tiny shoes here, which you probably can't see. There we go. Okay, I am going to stop recording. I'm going to get her dressed up and then we'll have a final look at her in her room. So here we go. So this is the doll. I have to be honest, the way that they do the clothes and things, I think it's very clever in that it just sort of like fits around them. There's sort of like slits in the back and it just kind of wraps around and just sort of stays on them, which I just think is really clever. For something so small, it would be hard, you know, to kind of get something to fit them. And the fact that they can do that, I think is really interesting. Um, so here it is. So she's got a skirt, which is this bit here, which is a separate piece to this which is the top. She does come with kind of like painted on sort of tights or leggings. And then she's got these little shoes. It's kind of a shame they're black because they kind of blend in with everything. So you can't really see them. She's also got these glasses on, which are, I think they're meant to be sunglasses. Why she would need sunglasses, I don't know, because the room is really gloomy and dark, but you know. I guess that's just the way it is. They kind of clip on behind her ears. There's a little hole behind there, which these just clip into. If you can't see, her hair is kind of like an, a blue and black ombre, which I do really like. So there she is. So let's put her on the bed. Oh, let's give her this weird robot thing. There we go. She can have a, have a lie down there with that. She's got a massive drink next to her. So yeah, I think this is actually really cute. I would imagine, you know, as a child, this would be really nice to play with. The fact that the box actually folds out, I think is really ingenious. And, you know, you don't get a lot of extra bits, but you do get, you get a bed, you get cushions. I mean, you know, that's, that's pretty nice. Obviously you get the mirror thing as well. So yeah, I'm actually really pleased with this. I think it's very cute. I'm a huge fan of Dusk. I think she is amazing. Um, so let me know what you think of her down in the comments below. Let me know if you have her or if you have any of these sort of fold out sets like this. Please share the video if you've enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. So until then, from me and from, from Miss Dusk here, Bye, bye, bye.